Ben has unlocked the secrets of understanding how our minds control our business and daily lives. Inside each episode, Ben shares his proven actionable items, tips, and secrets to managing the supercomputer between your ears so you can build and develop your business and start living the life you desire and deserve. This is Practical Psychology for Business with Benjamin Halpern. Hi, and welcome to today's podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the vital, important thing of celebrating your wins. Don't discount this idea. It is not being a big shot. It's not tooting your horn. It is vital. You need to do this. Your brain does not naturally really know the difference between success, failure, good, bad. It doesn't really know the difference. It has to be wired. Look in the world. There are people that actually think and are wired that if they do hurtful things, they're going to feel good. And they spend their life hating, believing that that's good and their brain is wired that that's good. Now, you could take that and go to the other side of the spectrum of people who have trained themselves that working out of the gym and pushing further and having aching muscles is a way to feel good. It's their body saying thank you and they actually can get themselves to do it every single day. And that's a big part of what athletes do and Olympic you know, medalists do, they basically train themselves that their body should learn that something that's painful to other people is actually good, healthy, and enjoyable. And what if they don't feel pain means they're not making progress. I had this myself in my workout in the gym, so I run. I have my amount of miles that I run every single day at the speed that I run. Somebody told me it's not healthy, um, you get about 10 or 15 years, and then you need to go bad. So I decided that I would walk, and I tried it. I started, you know, on a high incline and, you know, the quickest speed that I could walk. I tried doing that. My heart rate wasn't going up. I wasn't feeling the distress. I wasn't feeling the pain. It didn't give me that good feeling because I wired myself that if my heart rate goes fast and I sweat, that will give me a good feeling. That tells me I made progress. That tells me I became healthier. So I went back to my running and I hired a trainer and the trainer explained me how to be able to run on the ball of my feet and run lightly. Therefore, impact won't affect me. But the bottom line is that my body was craving that pain. My body was craving that difficulty because that's what I trained it. You could train your brain that if you don't make a certain amount of sales calls, if you don't reach out to your lover and do a certain amount of good behaviors, if you don't tell the people in life how important they are to you, how special they are to you, how much they mean to you, if you don't thank the universe, God, for all the good things that he's done to you and all the great things that happened to you in your life and are happening to your life as we speak, that you woke up today alive and you're feeling fine and you have an opportunity, you have a job to go through. There's people in your life that love you. It's people in life that you love. There are things in life that are going to happen that you can be excited about, that you live this time when there is so much opportunity out there to make money in so many different ways that you can go from one side of the globe to the other side of the globe that you can check out, experience and visit so many countries and cultures that you live in this amazing, amazing time that has never, ever been in history before. If you don't wake up every single day excited at the opportunities and everything that could go on in your life, you don't celebrate all the successes that you have in your life, all the great things that are happening in your life, then you will be in a situation where you're not going to feel good. You're not going to feel happy. You're not going to feel excited. You're going to be in a funk. You're going to be in a negative state and good things don't happen in that place. Nobody ever succeeded and made things happen in that way. And let's even say somehow you could make things happen in that way. It's not worth living. Those are the people that achieved so much and basically committed suicide. It only is valuable if you live and experience a happy and excited state. And no, you don't have to wait until you make a certain amount of money in order to experience this. You can have it now, today. It's not if day, if what, someday, possibly, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to feel happy. I'm going to feel excited when I get the car, when I have the relationship, when I have the house, when I have this amount of money. No, it doesn't work that way. If you have it today, you'll have it then because negativity breeds negativity. And positivity breeds positivity. Beautiful emotions breed beautiful emotions. Negative emotions, suffering emotions breed suffering emotions. If you're a sufferer, you suffer at the bottom of the barrel, you suffer at the top of the barrel. You suffer as a millionaire, you suffer as a billionaire. If you're a beautiful guy, you have beautiful joy when you're working at the process. You have beautiful joy when you hit your goals. So remember, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. That's your way of telling your brain, this is the pain I want to have. 
This is the results I want to have. This is the part of life I enjoy. It doesn't know the difference. You need to train it. This is what I like. This is what I like. This is what I like. Give me more of this. Give me more of these calls. Give me more of this love. Give me more of this happiness. Give me more of this joy. Give me more of this satisfaction. Remember, let your brain know. And there's only one way to let your brain know by celebrating and acknowledging, reveling in it. It's not about being a big shot. It's about being successful. It's about achieving the life that you desire and we both know you deserve. For more great free content, visit my website, benjaminhalpern.com.